going on? So this review today, this week, is going to be about Jermaine Jackson. Talk about unsung and underrated. One of the most talented artists ever. And also an original member of the Jackson 5. You know, when you get overshadowed by having a brother like Michael and then later your sister Janet, how some people forget just how dynamic this cat was. But let's remember something. Jermaine Jackson was playing bass and singing when that's something that's not that easy to do and to keep tone and to keep it in key and everything. Truly something else. But this here focuses on his solo career. And Jermaine has some cuts. You know, he did a remake of Daddy's Home, which was a cut. One of my favorites on this uh, on this tape collection is You Need to Be Loved. And what I like about that one, you can tell that he played on those Switch records because, yes, he had he was a talent scout. A lot of people don't know that he helped bring Stephanie Mills, Switch, and then the Barge to Motown. Him and his ex-wife Hazel Gordy Jackson. But Jermaine was a talent scout, a great bass player, a multi-instrumentalist. And the guy got some range as a singer. One of his biggest hits, though, was his collaboration with the great Stevie Wonder, Let's Get Serious, which was a jam. I mean, that bass line and that groove still got stank on it. And that was nice. And then, where are you now? But uh, You Need to Be Love was like one of the best songs that Switch didn't do because Jermaine was hitting them notes. Now, he didn't have the falsetto range as Bobby DeBarge, but he was hitting them notes in that jam. That, that song got some, some stank to it. It's tight. But Jermaine, uh, he had some cool songs. I mean, um, you know, I mentioned those two after Where You Are, Where Are You Now? But one of my favorites is I'm Just Too Shy. I love that that kickback groove of that song. It was so catchy, and yet it just felt so good. You know, just one of them songs that, uh, you know, um, it was a staple. But the summertime around the way joint on this collection is... You like me, don't you? That was the jam. That was like one of our summer cuts back in the day. And you could just hear that chorus. One thing is true. You like me and I like you. And that cut was so cut in the pocket. Had such a groove. Had such a, a tone about it. And when he hit, he hit. He had some cuts. He tried to do some new wave. And he had some hit hit with Let Me Tickle Your Fancy, which had Devo on the hook. And it worked for Jermaine. Jermaine was a very versatile artist, you know, and actually he had a career on Motown and then later on with Arista Records. But Motown is where you got like what I call the more soulful era of Jermaine. Arista or Arista, depending on which how you enunciate it, um, he had more crossover over there on that label. But he, but uh, to me, on Motown, I always say Motown gave most of the artists the soul for that's where you got the soul and the guts of and what have you. But I've always felt that Jermaine, and I like Paradise in your eyes, that's one of the last cuts on this compilation. I always thought Jermaine was an underrated overall artist and truly an unsung talent. Uh, he hasn't gotten his due for the kind of talent he has. And like I said before, that last name and having those kind of artistry in your family was very competitive, especially with Michael. I mean, we don't even bring up Janet yet but just with Michael you know but you know he just had it's this timing and everything and then sometimes it's the songs and the whole thing but make no mistake about it uh as far as I'm concerned Michael Jermaine and Randy were the three most overall talented members of the family and Jermaine it was a beast you know if you know anything about bass playing and harmonizing and you know, keeping timing and rhythm and everything. And you know how much this cat could beast. And he made it look so laid back and cool and light. But he was doing multitasking. He, um, he was something else with his. So, you know. But anyway, this is a, uh, a great overview of his career on Motown. And he produced quite a bit of tracks. Played on quite a bit of tracks on here. And um, that's a good overview of his career. So I just thought I'd take the time to you know, give Jermaine Jackson his due because he hasn't gotten his musical due as an artist properly. But the guy has always been very talented, very creative. And uh, I just wanted to like give that to shout out. So let's talk about Jermaine Jackson. What are your favorite Jermaine Jackson songs? 
Uh, your memories of Jermaine playing and his singing. Let's hit some. Let's get some feedback on this. Uh, feel free to leave comments and thoughts. Hit that like, hit that subscribe when the bell rings. Is a new video, and let's get serious and listen to some Jermaine. Peace.